Well, hi there. Welcome back to the Skull Steve channel. I'm your host, Skull Steve. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Got another video here from my one man, one bike trip. The Old Mob from 2018, summer of 2018. And I'm here in the Joshua Tree National Park in California. And you're probably noticing why does your video keep switching over? Like right now, why does it keep cutting into a different scene? Well, that's because I had my camera monitor on the handlebars like I mentioned in the previous videos and how this road is, how fast I was going, all played part in why I did start cutting this video out because there's a lot of shakiness going on. There's a little bit of shakiness now, but it was worse earlier. Like it when before I made the cut in the video, there was a lot of shaky points. But we have a special guest in this video today. I want you to introduce you to this special guest. His name is George, the bug. Here he comes. There he is. Hey, George, how's it going? Say hi to everybody, George. Yep. George isn't talking. I don't know what George is. George might be a fly or a, or a piece of dirt. I think he was a fly. George, you there? Yeah, seems like George is very quiet. George is kind of camera shy. Well, he's not shy to, to be in front of the camera, but he seems like he's just talking shy. So, as George is joining us today, not saying a word, we're just I'm just going to narrate this for you since he doesn't want us to talk. So, like I said, yeah, I'm in the in Joshua Tree National Park here in California. This is this is where I was going in between LA to Las Vegas. Had fun in LA. Med mentioned it before in previous videos that I when I went to LA, you know, I was basically down Sunset Strip. I went down there just because I love the history of rock and roll, and that is a lot of history of rock and roll down there. Whether it be, you know, the the Whiskey a Go Go, Rainbow Bar and Grill, you know, and then you go to there's the Viper Room, you know, and I couldn't get in the Viper Room, but then there was like Alta Cienega, off of La Cienega. That's that Jim Morrison Motel. And if you know about the Jim Morrison Motel, it's this this room that is dedicated to Jim Morrison. You go in there and there's this guy's writing all over the walls in that room. And it's got it's like just just everything to him. Like there's drawings of him and it's pretty cool, but it's kind of steep. I mean, it's like it's like 20 bucks to get like a 15 minute tour or something like that. I mean, you can stay the night, but I would not recommend staying the night at that place. That place is kind of new, but whatever. I mean, it was pretty cool. Like I said, I love the LA, you know, just the, just the history of rock and roll for being on the Sunset Strip. That's all I want to do to go there. I also went there to, to get an oil change too. And yeah, so I went there, got an oil change, made the hit, the marker for me to get an oil change. So I did it there and then, you know, cruised around and hung around on the Sunset Strip. Pretty fun. But that night, you know, I got got to bed pretty late. It was like two, two three o'clock in the morning, which, you know, I don't do that often anymore because I'm an adult. A boring and a boring adult <laughs> so yeah I got on the road I actually got up pretty early too surprisingly and just spent the whole day riding went from Los Angeles to Las Vegas my original plan was to take what's that hot as hell desert the Death Valley but it was really hot and I decided to go here and then take this to uh, the Mojave Desert so yeah I I think this was a lot better for me. I'll go back to Death Valley, but this was just beautiful. The scenery is nice. You know, I, I like the Joshua Tree Park. I, I definitely recommend to come here. You you like it. There was, I, there was a point where I saw people hiking out here, and that's what I want to do. I want to come back out here. I didn't feel like I have enough time to, but next time I come down here, I'm going to do that. Like I said, I had a I had a fun time here. You know, it was, it was nice. It was nice getting to Las Vegas and take the scenic route instead of taking the damn freeway, you know, going through here, then going to the Mojave Desert, and there's a lot of cool things on the way. Going through Mojave, like, it was, it was nice. It was, it, it was hot. It got hot, like, here, because it was earlier in the day, and it, there was a nice little cool breeze, so I didn't get hot over here. I was okay here, but once I got past Joshua Tree and I started getting to the Mojave and all that, that's where it was just horribly hot. And thankfully, I have one of those like camel backpacks, those those water holding backpacks, which like it's like I just mentioned holds water, which is good. Something you need, especially out here, you know. But the only downside is 
the water gets pretty warm when it's hot outside. So you're going to be drinking warm water. But hey, warm water is better than no water. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, like I guess I mentioned that. You know, the light riding out here burned me out. I was really tired when I got to Vegas. Didn't really get to enjoy Vegas too much because I was just out in the hot sun all day. Like I said, I got up really early morning from being out late the night before, you know, drinking and all that. Came out here and I didn't have a hangover. Thankfully, I was pretty good. I was, was actually pretty wide awake for this whole thing. I think it's just the. I think I was so motivated and so determined and so happy and so relax at the same time all these different emotions kind of kept me going and that's why i kind of didn't really sleep in when i when i woke up the next morning in la i just you know got on the got on the bike when we had breakfast and came out here you know i was just i was aiming and really ready to go i always want to do that but i'm going to keep my my schnozzles shut for a second if schnozzles is a real word i my mouth and play some music for you there everybody so while i was on break i was looking up the joshua tree plant i don't know if we can see any here i don't know if you guys catch any but i'm gonna show you a picture of one right here and i guess what a joshua tree plant is they're spiny tree-like plants that are native to mojave desert although they look somewhat like palm trees they are actually they are actually yuccas member of the asparagus family a close relative of the gavi a plant used to make tequila. Ooh, that's a fun fact right there. Can we make the tequila out of the Joshua trees or just the agave? I don't know. How that works. But yeah, I like I said, I recommend coming here. You guys would love it. Definitely a great riding scene. Mojave was great too. Mojave was fun. I got to get some. I got some parts on to Route 66. I don't know if I was near Mo Mojave. I wasn't sure, but. Saw some parts of that, and I'll tell you that in a second, but this is funny right here. So <laughs> I decided to turn down this little road. I'm like, oh, cool, a little road. What goes down here? And I saw this, like, dirt road. I'm like, eh, eh, eh. nope, not today. Not dealing with the dirt road. <laughs> nope. Turn around. I'm getting out of here. I'm probably walking my fat ass around here or just getting out. Nope. <laughs> not today. So, yeah, like I mentioned, I was on Route 66. I was it Amoy, California, and I saw the there's a line of Amoy. It's this old like the Asian lion statues you see like in front of some Chinese restaurant or something, or belongs in front of some rich person's house. I don't know, but there's just in the middle of the desert, just hanging out there off of Route 66, which is pretty cool. And then I passed. Well, actually, I stopped at Roy's Diner, the famous Roy's Diner that's on Route 66. That is uh, next to the Roy's Motel. Nothing in the diner except for, I don't know, certain drinks and, yeah, it was weird. There was no, like, no hot food. I had to eat, what did I have? I had to eat, like, 
Freshly's cupcakes or something like that in a hot pocket. It was really weird. I shouldn't. They should have more than that. You know, being out in the desert, that, that's, that's like you know, I'm, should eat more than this. So when I got to Las Vegas, I had this big plate of spaghetti and pass out afterwards. From I think it was like the Wolfgang Puck, whatever the hell that restaurant is in the Paris. I don't know if it was Wolfgang Puck restaurant. I wasn't sure, but all I know is the spaghetti tasted great because I was really tired and really hungry. <laughs> so yeah, there's, you know. I said, recommend coming out here, guys. This is where the video is about to end. So, George, do you have anything to say before we go? Anything? Nothing? Okay. I'll, I'll do it for George. George was going to exit out for everybody, but I'll do it for you. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, ring that guardian bell, comment to share, anything to stop those YouTube algorithm gremlins. All right. You guys have fun. Skella Steve out. Ha, ha, ha.